Hello guys, this is Kazuza from the channel Kazuz Art. How are you today? Uh, so Arteza, the brand, uh, sent me some of their uh, product uh, to test and review. Um, well, first, <laughs> it is a free product. They send them for free. Uh, but still, I will give my honest opinion. I'm not paid for talking about them or anything. Uh, they just send it to me and say, well, make a post on Instagram or, or whatever and say what you think about it. And I was like, honestly, and they were like, yes, yes, because they are full of honesty. So uh, here it is. Uh, first, I will talk about uh, the Ever Blender markers and about their fine liner, the iconic brand. Uh, about the markers, as you can say, uh, on, see on the video, um, they came into a super nice bag. Uh, I really like that bag. Like, I mean, it is sturdy. It is nice looking. It is not too big or too small. Uh, it's just perfect. And I really like the fact that you can totally put other markers than their own marker in it. Like my Copic fit perfectly into it. So. That bag is really, really good. I, I I was kind of a bit in love with it. <laughs> and uh, the 60 marker uh, plus the bag were to $66 on their website, if I remember correctly. So it is a very cheap deal. Uh, so at a, a price wise, I would say that it is a good deal. Uh, for the color, uh, I saw that uh, while using them, the color tend to dry a little bit um, lighter than they are when you lay them for the first time. Uh, so make swatches when you use them, like it is very important. Uh, something else I noticed while doing my swatches are uh, the color selection. Uh, I think that set of 60 markers have been made uh, for maybe students in landscape, architecture or design. Uh, I'm doing a lot of portrait myself, like almost only portrait. Uh, so the color selection wasn't very good for me because as you can see, there are only two light color uh, for the skin on skin tone and only two brown. Uh, so you can do you can't really do nice shading for a dark uh, skin tone or middle dark skin tone, you know, uh, olive skin tone. No, you, you have uh, the A9426 and that's it. All the others are too dark. And that was a little bit of a problem for me. But I read on their website that they are uh, planning uh, one... 120 pack of markers of the same kind so they might have more color in it but I didn't check so I can be sure about it but the, some color are really good so are really pretty like the orange for example are very very pretty the yellow are not very nice they are kind of muddy yellow but the blue and the red uh, pinkish are very very nice like I like that they are vibrant and very pretty uh, something I didn't really enjoy about those markers was uh, the nibs because they are the chisel nibs on white side and the small hard nibs on the other side like most uh, cheap markers have those kind of nibs but I think uh, the ink of those markers, the Arteza marker is very good, like um, it blends so well, it blends really, really well and that uh, very, very big uh, positive side on marker because blending is the most. But I swear, if they had put brush nibs on those marker, those marker would have been gold. I'm, I'm telling you guys, it would have been gold. So. Uh, the nibs is a bit of a downside to me, but since most markers have those kind of nibs anyway, like uh, I guess for most people it won't be a problem. It's just like if you are used to Copic, like me, 
Ah. But on, anyway, if you already own Copic, you don't need those kind of markers. Those kind of markers are really great if you want to start marker for cheap or you don't have the money to, to buy Copics. Um, another thing that I really didn't like about those, well, it's the same that the nibs, you know, like it's they are not refillable. There, there are no refills. Uh, but at the same time, most cheap markers are like that too. Like even pro markers don't have refills. So uh, unless you want to invest into Copic, you won't find any brand that do refills. Uh, so it's not really a downside, but for me it is it is one because I already own Copic. Uh, but it's still good and actually I read on the Arteza website that they might do refill in the future as they already sell uh, the marker individually which is very great uh, because if you are dry on the color you can buy just the color you need. Uh, it's still less economic that refills but I hear that they might do some so that would be very good I think. Uh, and I also read that they might uh, do nibs, uh, you know, uh, separately too. So that's a very, very good side, I think. Uh, what else? The, the ink is good, I think. The ink is very good and it blends so well. It was a surprise. The color I vivid. Some colors are really ugly, but some colors are amazing. It is, it is a good mix. So that was for the downside and the good side. Um, I tested also um, the fine liner of that brand and the color pencil. Uh, the color pencil are really good, like as you can see on the video, they are smooth. Uh, color choice, not the best, but kind of a lot of nice color in it. So I think it is. And they are very cheap. That that's a good. They are sturdy. I really like the fact that you can sharpen them and they don't uh, fray or the point just don't break any second like uh, the Prisma color. Um, some color were a bit dry, but some were very smooth, and I really like them. Uh, actually, I use them in complement of my Polychromos and Prisma colors. So uh, those color pencil of Arteza are very good. Um, I used, uh, for those illustration, I use also the fine liner. Uh, it's an iconic fine liner. I received 48 of them. Uh, actually, it's not the first time that I uh, test that uh, brand of fine liner. But the first selection they sent me, uh, the color where color choice, it's, it's a problem on cheap brand mostly, but the color selection was really bad. But actually what I really love about Arteza as a brand is that they really listen to the review that we give and they improve their brand all the time and that's a great, great uh, thing for a brand to do because the second uh, fine liner box they send me, the color choice is way better, I really like them. Uh, they are totally marker proof, they are not waterproof, uh, but they are marker proof. Uh, except the, the black, actually the black marker uh, fine liner of that brand is the only one that actually smeared. But when you buy a 48 uh, liners box, it's not for the black one. <laughs> All the other color tests are very good and I really enjoyed them. And so you, if you love um, color line art, this is a must. Um, and I think it works so well with the ever uh, blend uh, markers of the brand. Uh, what can I say more? Um, as you can see, like uh, on the video, like uh, it blends so well. Those markers blend so well, and it was at first when I was using it, I was like, "Oh, am I gonna do some smooth blending with those awful nibs?" And then I was like. But it blends so so well that with a lot of a bit of mastery, it's not a problem anymore. Uh, so actually, I really enjoyed it. Uh, their um, colorless blender is also good. It works very well. You can see like it really dissolves the ink well, but without doing patches. Uh, which I really like. Actually, I think it works a little bit better than the Copic one. So I was very surprised. 
uh, oh, look look at oh, oh well it blends i really like that um what else yeah oh something i really enjoy with those markers is that uh it's their uh form they are uh, a, tr a triangular shape and it doesn't roll uh, when you put them on your desk which i really enjoy because when you use a lot of marker um they tend to roll like the copy my copy one tend to roll uh everywhere and my brush marker too and it is hellish when you are trying to be quick because uh alcohol marker needs to be very quick so you're like <laughs> so i really enjoy the rectangular shape of this one it was it was very nice uh look look at how, how lighter the color uh dry but it is so pretty it is such a pretty pink uh i really enjoy and look at the warm pink underneath i really enjoy um arteza choice of pink and blue those are really 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 nice color indeed uh, and it it, was, it almost make up for the lack of skin tone. Um, what else? Oh, something I didn't really enjoy was the chisel nib that was a bit too wide. Uh, so for most fine, but not so fine detail, it was complicated. But I think for big area, it is way easier to use. Uh, especially if you do uh, landscape uh, sketching, it is very good. Uh, all in all, all those Arteza products are very nice. Uh, and I'm very happy that Arteza gave me the opportunity to test them. And I will definitely use them uh, again uh, in complement of the art product I already have. I think if you don't have the money or the will to invest into Copics, or a Prisma color pencil, you know. Then this brand is really a good alternative because it is cheap, uh, but not too cheap, and it is quite good quality for the price you pay. Uh, it does the tricks, as you can see. Uh, it is not too hard because a lot of time uh, cheap brands are very hard to use, especially if you're a beginner. Like if you are use. Uh, you know, a seasoned artist you are used to to draw. Uh, you can do beautiful thing with with shit product. Uh, but when you are a beginner, it is better to start with good product because it makes your life easier. Uh, but those artists are product are very nice. Uh, I really recommend them if you don't want to invest into too expensive product. Uh, and that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I hope I help you a little bit with that review. And see you guys on my channel very soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and to like if you enjoy this kind of video. And leave me in the comments what kind of review you might like. See you!